Hey guys, it's the Movie Buff Pains, and we're back again with another haul video for you guys. Uh, this is our July haul. We showed a little bit of what we got at the beginning of July in our last haul video, but this is everything we've gotten since, and it's plenty. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> we've got some VHS tapes, some figures, lots of Blu-rays, a few 4Ks, uh, and there's been quite a few sales going on as of late, even beyond the Criterion sale, so we've got quite a few pickups to show from those sales as well. So we'll go ahead and dive right in. We were able to find the Toonie Terrors version of Jason Voorhees. This one's actually been basically out of stock for a while yeah. everywhere. Yeah, that one's been hard to find. We got really lucky and found that one at a Target. Yeah, I, I found a few of these the last few weeks. He already hung up most of them, but I had to show off that I found Jason. And then we have a pop figure from one of my all-time favorite films. It's Tyler Durden from Fight Club. I was hoping to get the chase, but this will do. Then we got a few tapes to show off. I got lucky and found a beta tape that we were both really excited about and got it for a pretty good deal. And that is Reanimator. This is the Vestron video release. Yeah. So that was really cool to find. Yeah, he surprised me with that one. That was pretty cool. And then these next several we have found while thrifting. We haven't found as much lately, mostly because we just haven't been going out as much. Yeah. But uh, there's starting to be some good things at thrift stores. Definitely. Uh, a couple VHS tapes. We got Something Wild. This is a really fun movie. We actually own this one on Criterion Blu-ray. But yeah, I thought that was a cool tape to add to the collection. And then we got The Chase with Charlie Sheen and Christy Swanson. Uh, I've never seen this one before, so probably check that out on tape. And I finally have a uh, VCR TV set up next to my bed, which I've been waiting for for a long time because it's just super nostalgic to lay in bed and watch VHS tapes like I did when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> then we found a couple of DVDs while we were out thrifting. First one is Destination Tokyo, this movie, a movie with Cary Grant, which looks pretty darn good. Yeah, I'm surprised this one's not on Blu-ray yet. I think this one does have a Blu-ray, but it's like terribly out of print. It's one of the Tales from the Crypt Presents films, and that's Ritual. This one looks pretty entertaining. And then we did actually find a few Blu-rays when we last went out thrifting, which we were really excited about. It's always fun to find Blu-rays at thrift stores especially. Yeah, it is. First one is Wolves. This is kind of funny because I think it was last month we found a bunch of nature documentaries at the same Savers that we found this at. So yeah. One of the other ones in the series we were able to pick up. And then a movie I was surprised we didn't own yet, which is Disclosure with Michael Douglas and Demi Moore. And the last Blu-ray we found, this has got to be one of the coolest finds in the wild ever, especially coming from a Savers of all yeah. places. This is from Warner Archive, She Wore a Yellow Ribbon. I We have never seen a Warner Archive out in the wild before, have we? I don't think so. Not not at the thrift store. Not at a thrift store, yeah. I, I see them at like used stores, but never a thrift store. Yeah, this was a great find. We were both shocked when we found this. Yeah. <laughs> so John Wayne pick, uh, always good to add to that collection of his films. So that was a really exciting find. Yeah. Next one, this is a random eBay pickup, and that is Laid in America. This is the UK release of it. Um, I, I was watching a movie recently and I saw a trailer for this, thought it looked pretty funny, so decided to pick this up. Then a Walmart find was Someone to Watch Over Me. I've, we've noticed that Walmart is starting to carry some of the Shout Factory, Shout Select, even some a few Scream Factory titles more and more. Mm -hmm. And we were able to find this one, it was only $10. That's a steal for a Shout Select title. Yeah, you can't go wrong with that. Um, and then I got A River Runs Through It. I believe it was the Joseph Gordon-Levitt episode of Armchair Expert where they were talking about this film and it intrigued me and I was surprised we didn't own it yet, so. This one's a Kino release. This is the 1924 silent version of Peter Pan. I really like the story of Peter Pan, so I'm always looking to add the different additions to the collection. And so when I heard that like the original film of Peter Pan was available on Blu-ray, I was like, I have to get that. That's probably going to be your next film series binge, right? You're going to watch all the Peter Pan adaptations. That's true. I just got through like most of the Robin Hoods, so I'm looking for the next one to get to. Yeah. Next few are some anime I picked up. I've got 
Black Clover Season 1 Part 3 and Part 4. Then I also got Kids on the Slope. That one looks intriguing. It does. I, I like the kind of more based in reality ones. I do like the fantasy as well, but it, there's those, something... Those are the ones I tend to like as well. Yeah. And then last one is Flying Witch. Next one. This one's kind of a random pickup, but I was watching someone's video recently and they mentioned that this movie was good. Can't even remember whose video it was. Um, but it's a musical, a movie musical, and it's Reefer Madness. This one just really intrigued me, especially because it has Kristen Bell in it. And I was telling Andrew, I always say that I dislike musicals, but I think it's more that I dislike like traditional musicals. I like ones that are kind of off-kilter, different type she, musicals. She's not a Rodgers and Hammerstein chick. No, no. <laughs> and then I got a couple arrows. I think these two are going out of print. And I've had them on my radar for a while, just haven't picked them up. Um, we've got Immoral Tales and the beast and then like you may have seen in some of our other videos i'm trying to build up the jackie chan collection that's been pretty easy to do uh through 88 films so they've released quite a few uh, so i got a few more this month i got miracles to kill with intrigue and armor of god 2 operation condor and then in that same order i also picked up a shaw brothers film and that is clan of the white lotus the last couple we have in this section are some superhero releases, actually. So mm -hmm. I'll let you show off the one that you found miraculously. <laughs> yeah. I have several um, titles that I have safe searches for on eBay. And usually I don't come up with much through those safe searches. Like, either I click on them and they're already gone, or it's just a bunch of things that I don't want. Um, but this one, I, I swear, I've been looking for this for years, and I've never seen it in the wild. I've always just seen it on eBay and it usually goes for exorbitant prices. So I was really excited to finally get this one for our DC animated collection. And that is Superman Shazam, The Return of Black Adam with the slip cover, which that's what's rare about this is this white whale of a slip cover. And luckily it came in pretty dang good condition. So yeah. excited to finally add this one to the collection. And then this one we got there was a sale going on. Amazon just dropped its price suddenly for mm -hmm. whatever reason. And that was the complete series of Batman on Blu-ray. This is the re-release, I believe, because it's got the separate cases rather than like a big um, box, set. box set. And so we don't really care that, uh, about that as much, but it went down really cheap compared to what it's usually sold at. So mm -hmm. we were like, why not? We have like just about everything else at DC. We need to have the yeah. original Batman show as well. So yeah, that'll be fun to watch. Definitely. All right. So we're going to dive into some of our sale pickups. The first sale we're going to talk about is the Camp Aerial Video sale. Uh, this was between Grindhouse Video in the US as well as Arrow's store in the UK and I picked up stuff from both places so I'll go ahead and show that to you guys. Love that map insert too. That was just oh, a yeah. fun little piece for them to do. gotta show that off. And yeah, we got this fun little map that it came with. Hopefully you guys could see that okay. I both want to attend that summer camp and not want to attend that one because the... It'd probably be better if you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> the first one, this one I got direct from Arrow and that is Coffee with Pam Greer. I've been obsessed with Pam Greer lately. I think she's awesome. Like we just watched um, Jackie Brown not too long ago. And then she's also on one of my favorite sitcoms right now called Bless This Mess. And I was like, how have I not seen like Coffee or Foxy Brown or, you know, a lot of her big staples. So um, I finally decided to pick this one up when I saw it in the Arrow sale. We watched it the other night and it was awesome. She's a total badass. Yeah. Really fun uh, B movie. Next one we have is Cohen and Tate. Gotta love Roy Scheider. Oh, definitely. And we got Terry Gilliam's Tideland, which I really enjoy Terry Gilliam's work, so I'm excited to check this one out. Yeah. We got The Andromeda Strain. I think I have a standard Blu-ray of this, but it was so cheap to just pick this up in the sale. I mean, all the stuff from direct from Arrow was less than $10. Like, there, there were some great deals there. There were. This is a movie that I think we've both had on our watch list for a while. Another Terry Gilliam film, actually. Um, and I had toyed around with the idea of picking up the Criterion. I believe we own a steelbook of it, but we've still never watched it. Yeah. 
but it, I think it was just knowing that there was there was a better release out there. I mean, I don't know about you, but like when I know there's a better release, I tend to want to wait to watch it, even if it's something I've never seen before. But then Arrow released this, and I heard the transfer was even better than Criterion, so finally decided to pull the trigger in the sale because again, it was a great price, and that is Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. And then this is a horror film that I've heard really great things about, looking forward to finally watching it, and that is Incident in a Ghostland. And this didn't get a Blu-ray release in America, so I'm really excited about this one. Next is Animal Factory. This is a film by Steve Buscemi, so that ought to be really interesting, I think. Mm -hmm. Then we've got a sci-fi film, The Quiet Earth. Got Toys Are Not For Children. Another one I've heard really great things about but haven't been able to check out yet, and that is Hounds of Love. And we've got Killer Nun. And we got Horror Express, The Dead Center, Rage of Honor, which is one of the ones that's going out of print pretty soon. They've got a few titles that are going out of print that they've been putting on sale. I think these next two are also going out of print. Uh, the Big Knife, a noir film. And Terror in a Texas Town. And then I was finally able to pick up a box set that I've been putting off for a while, but what better opportunity than to pick it up during a sale? And that is the American Horror Project Volume 2. These are really cool sets, so excited to add that one to the collection. All right, next sale we're going to dive into is the Warner Archive sale. First one we've got, this was one of the ones I picked out, is Popeye the Sailor. This is the 1940s Volume 1 collection. I'll have to get the other couple maybe in the next sale. Yeah. And then I also got Tex Avery, the Screwball Collection, Volume 1. I'm excited for them to release more of these cartoons. These are some real classics I remember from my childhood. We got Corvette Summer with Mark Hamill. Then we have the Yakuza. I've wanted to see this one for a while. Um, it's written by Paul Schrader, who I've talked about in several videos. <laughs> <laughs> then we've got Doddsworth. I got turned on to this one um, from one of Serial at Midnight's videos. It kind of sounded intriguing. Then this is a musical, one which I really enjoy. I hope you will too, someday. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> that is Brigadoon. Then a Western I'm actually really looking forward to checking out, and that is The Stalking Moon with Gregory Peck. And then we have another Jackie Chan film, one that I've heard so-so things about, but still excited to add it to the collection, as Mr. Nice Guy. We've got Year of the Dragon. I was really excited this one was part of the sale because it just recently came out and that is the Mystery of the Wax Museum. This one looks pretty cool. I think this is one that we have both seen actually. Yeah. Back when we were trying to watch the uh, AFI Top 100 films. One day we will do that. Yes. <laughs> but that is Yankee Doodle Dandy. Pretty good film from what I remember. Yeah. Next we've got Frankenstein, 1970, which I'm really excited to check this one out because Karloff plays the doctor rather than the monster in this one. I think that's a nice change. Yeah, that sounds cool. This one I've always heard really good things about and that is Waiting for Guffman. And then we have The Accidental Tourist. I picked this one up for the cast alone. It looks like a fun movie. And then the last one is V, the original miniseries, which I really, really enjoy sci-fi stuff, so just hearing about this one, it sounds really interesting to me. And then the last sale is, of course, the Kino Lorber Studio Classics sale. And I think a few of these uh, I actually got before the sale officially started. They still have their um, Wall Supplies last sale going, and then there is just a couple titles that I wanted to pick up. And then they started another sale, and I had to pick up a bunch from there, so <laughs> they're always doing sales. First one is Money for Nothing with John Cusack. And then Angie with Gina Davis. The Children's Hour with Audrey Hepburn. Bank Shot with George C. Scott. And then we have Just Visiting, DOA. Then we've got Crooklyn, one of Spike Lee's films. Always happy to add more of his filmography to our collection. Mm -hmm. And then this one I've wanted to check out for a while since I watched the uh, original film, and that's Trilogy of Terror 2. Heard it's not quite as good as the original, but I've heard it still has its merits. And then we have Link. I really love Elizabeth Shue, so I'm looking forward to this one. And someone else who I really love is Peter Cushing, and this one is The Flesh and the Fiends. 
which is crazy this was already a part of their sale because this just came out like two to three weeks ago so that was really awesome then we've got narrow margin another fairly recent release so then i'm excited for this one this is spaced invaders sounds pretty silly but i like silly yeah i've heard good things about that one and then this one's actually a scorpion title but kino distributes some scorpion and code red titles as well and i always like to pick those up this one is where the boys are looks like a lot of fun another scorpion title here the glass house and then this one actually i don't think was on sale but uh since kelly preston passed away i wanted to dive into some more of her filmography and this is one that a lot of people said was one of their favorite films starring her and so i picked it up that spellbinder and then we have a code red title the fifth floor so next up we have some new releases and then we will end with some label titles first couple we got are dvd releases i really wish that they had gotten put on blu-ray honestly it's sh i don't know why studios still do dvd only releases yeah anymore. why why in 2020 do we have dvd only new release films especially because these were both released on like digital earlier this year just you know because of everything and now they've only gotten dvds it's a real real shame the first one we have is you should have left and body cam heard decent things about both the next few are all echo bridge releases echo bridge seems to put out a lot of movies at once so yeah it's hard to catch them all sometimes but these are inevitable dollar tree movies <laughs> yeah they are we've got tribal the Lost Viking, Things I Do for Money, Super Miss, El Dorado, City of Gold. I think that's actually a sequel to something that we picked up at Dollar Tree last I th time. I think you're right. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, keep an eye out at your Dollar Trees the next few months. You will probably see these movies there. <laughs> probably. Last one, Gangland Hooligans. Getting into some other new releases, we have Tom Hardy and Capone. I've heard mostly negative things about this, however, a few people that I trust have said that it's somewhat enjoyable, so I'll give it a shot. I'm willing to give Josh Trank a second chance, even after um, Fantastic Four, which was terrible. But uh, I like Tom Hardy, so we'll see how this one is. If you guys have seen it, let us know. And then we have the next two Paramount Presents releases. We're really loving this uh, label that they're doing. Um, I especially like when they release movies that have never been on Blu-ray. Yeah. Both of these have been on Blu-ray before, but of course they have new 4K transfers. Um, we haven't watched this one yet, but we have, we have watched the other one. Both great films. First one is Airplane. Absolute comedy classic. Hilarious movie. Definitely looking forward to checking out the new transfer on this one. Definitely. And then this is one that neither of us had seen before we got this release, um, but we watched it for the first time just the other night, and I really liked it. Uh, I did too, yeah, yeah, it was really good. It was actually a lot different than I was expecting it to be, just based on all of the marketing and all of the images and clips I've seen from the movie over the years, but uh, that is Ghost. And yeah, it was a, actually a really enjoyable film, kind of a, uh, a romance mixed with crime thriller, mm -hmm. which I thought was interesting. Yeah, really good film. I can see why so many people love it. Then we got a couple of Wellgo's new releases. We have Samurai Marathon. And then I think that this is this is an award contender, definitely. I, just I looking at it. I can't help but laugh just looking at that cover. <laughs> it's great. That would be Enter the Fat Dragon. Obviously a cinema masterpiece. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, anything... That would, actually looks like fun. I mean, Donnie Yen, he is... Yeah. amazing at what he does so yeah. i think this will be really fun i'll give it a shot i i don't think it's any coincidence that that released the same day as the uh, bruce lee criteria <laughs> <Right? game> set <laughs> yeah that looks like fun another one that i haven't heard anything about but uh looks like it could be fun and that is the swing of things next one up is four kids and it just some little family comedy but you know Always looking to add kind of the random stuff to the collection. Yeah, that one's so terribly random, I, I couldn't resist it. Next we have Survive the Night, another direct-to-disc Bruce Willis feature. However, this has Chad Michael Murray, uh, my teenage crush, my favorite from One Tree Hill. <laughs> 
So we'll we'll see how this one goes. Can we take a moment just to give props to Lionsgate? They win at the slipcover game for the design, switching the design of putting the formats along the side there. Like yeah. it makes it su a much cleaner much cover. Nicer. And it just, it, it's just a lot more appealing, honestly. I think yeah. the first time we noticed that was like, I think the last John Wick, Wick film is when they did it first. And it was like, ooh, so yeah. much nicer than that big old blue bar across the top. Speaking of the big old blue <laughs> bar across the top, we have the second season of Castle Rock, a show I haven't gotten into yet, but I wish they had released this on 4K like the uh, first season. Yeah. But we'll still check it out. Last couple of new releases we have are 4Ks. First, we have Scoob, which we caught this when it got released digitally earlier mm -hmm. on this year. And, you know, it's cute. It's not too bad, but, I don't know, definitely wasn't quite up to what I consider the standard of Scooby-Doo normally. But it was still fun to watch. I think we both agreed that on second watch, we'll probably enjoy this one more. Just going in with, like, no expectations, because we've seen it before. So. Yeah. We can kind of just watch it for what it is. And it did have some really good uh, um, animation. I just wish that they would have kept Matthew Lillard on in the cast. That, mm -hmm. that was the thing that frustrated me the most. Yeah, the voice cast, they switched things around a little, brought in you know, more known actors. And I think that was part of the problem. I mean, for some of the characters, it wasn't bad. But I, I agree, Matthew Lillard, I think, was the one I, I, we were most upset by. Because yeah. he is shaggy. And... Not having him in the part, it just felt wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling woozy, yeah! Then we have a classic film here, one that neither of us have seen, right? Nope. Yeah. And that is Spartacus. Kirk Douglas. And on 4K. According to the reviews, this has a phenomenal transfer. So yeah. I'm kind of glad we haven't seen it yet in a way. So we'll be seeing the best possible version of it yeah. there is. That's true. Going back to what I said earlier, like when I know there's a better version out there, like I, I want my first viewing to be the best possible viewing. And I think that will definitely be the case with this one. I've, I've heard it's basically reference quality 4K. So. Yeah. And for such an old film, that's great. Yeah. So we'll definitely sit down and give that one a watch soon. Uh, next one, uh, we'll dive into our label titles. Uh, we have Natalie Escape from Hell from MVD Classics. Then we have a Shout Select release here, The Missing. This is a Ron Howard film that I've heard some really good things about, so looking forward to that one. Next, a Shout Factory release. This is Resistance with Jesse Eisenberg, and him in a more a role like a period film, I think, is different. Because yeah. I don't know if he's ever done something like that before. So I'm really interested to check this out. Next one is a Roman Polanski film. One that I've wanted to see for a long time. And Scream Factory finally released it. And that is The Tenant. I actually watched this one earlier today. And I really enjoyed it. I will admit I did have to look up some points of the plot after the movie was over. But I, I really enjoyed it. It's right up there with like Repulsion and Rosemary's Baby. It's a great film from Roman Polanski. Next from Scream, we have Stephen King's Graveyard Shift. Always good to add Stephen King stuff yeah. to the collection. I think even his lesser stuff is still really enjoyable. Definitely. Next one, this is one that I had heard many things about over the years, had never watched it, and Scream Factory released it, so we finally took the opportunity to check it out, and that is 13 Ghosts. This one is from the early 2000s. It's a remake of a William Castle film, um, and I, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, it was fun. It's kind of trippy. Like, I, I feel like if you have an anxiety or seizure disorder, you may be a little put on edge during this yeah. movie. Like, I feel like every time you start to relax, there's like just like a blurt of a ghost and it's really creepy. But uh, yeah, it was enjoyable and got to love Matthew Lillard. So, <laughs> And then we have a Hammer horror film here that Scream Factory just put out, and that is Kiss of the Vampire. And then I got my July package in from Vinegar Syndrome. Still loving being a halfway subscriber. Can't wait till I can be an entire year subscriber from them. But uh, this month we got the Naughty Victorians. And then this next one is a thriller directed by Larry Cohen. And that is Perfect Strangers. Always looking to add more Larry Cohen to the collection. Definitely looking forward to checking this one out. And then we have the 11th Commandment. These next two I picked up from Ronin Flicks, a couple of new releases from Scorpion. Uh, first one is Night Visitor. 
I'd never heard of this one before, but based on the synopsis and the cover art, this one sounded the most intriguing to me. Um, but now looking back, I wish I had picked up 315. I'll probably go back and pick that one up later. And then the main reason I put in the order was for uh, the Jean-Claude Van Damme film Death Warrant with slipcover. I always like to pick these ones up when they first come out, just so I make sure to get the slipcover. Then these last two releases are two that I've been really excited about. Uh, first one from Severin Films, we've got the complete Lindsay Baker Giallo collection. And this is a really cool box set. Comes with four films um, between um, Umberto, Umberto Lindsay and Carol Baker. I'd never seen any of these films before. However, I watched Orgasmo today. And I thought it was a great film. So we've got So Sweet, So Perverse. A Quiet Place to Kill, Knife of Ice, and Orgasmo, also known as Paranoia. So yeah, a really, really nice box set from Severin. All right, and the last thing in our haul, one that I'm really excited about, it totally surprised me when it showed up in our mailbox. I didn't even know I had shipped. It wasn't supposed to come out until like September. I got it a couple weeks ago, and that is The Living Dead at Manchester Morgue from Synapse. And this is a beautiful release. Um, similar to their Suspiria steelbook, it comes in a slip cover. This is a really gorgeous steelbook release here. Um, I absolutely love this movie. It's definitely one of the more underrated zombie films. And I showed it to him shortly after we got it so he could check out the new transfer and he could see it for the first time. And uh, yeah, I really enjoyed watching this one again. Really good film. You liked it too? Yeah. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that, that completes our, our haul for July 2020. Um, we, of course, still have our Criterion haul, and that will be a separate video. But uh, thank you guys for watching, and thanks for supporting our channel. Make sure to like and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications, and we'll see you on the next one. See ya.